Troy, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, as a high, as a uh, college wrestler from Hofstra. Um, I also know that wrestling is a fantastic feeder into MMA. Uh, where do you see wrestling programs right now? Because a lot of them are struggling. What, what's the answer? Yeah, you know, they're dropping out. They're losing schools, um, and it's Why? a shame. Why is that? You know, uh, who knows politically? I think um, the uh, the rules with women's uh, collegiate sports really hurt them. Title Nine. Yep, um, that closed a lot of programs. I don't know ultimately that it, it even did what they hoped it would do. Mm -hmm. I think it did the opposite and just um, crushed some of the other programs. And that's not a knock on women's athletics Absol at all. It's no, just not like, at all. Right. Um, no, it just didn't do what it was supposed to do anyway. Right. So um, there's definitely an overlap. You know, we've got all these MMA guys here, and we've got past wrestlers. There's definitely an overlap in the two sports, and wrestling keeps feeding into MMA, and, and MMA is in turn bringing more attention to to wrestling. Do you think it comes back eventually? I think it does. And when you talk about kids' programs, you know, the high schools don't have an MMA program right now. Uh, junior high doesn't have an MMA program, but they've got wrestling. And um, that's a great place for these kids to start. It, it's, really, it's really a good base if they're even considering going on into, um, into the sport of MMA. I agree. You also own a performance MMA uh, company, uh, basically the largest reseller of MMA uh, equipment and apparel there is. Um, I know you. The holidays are coming up. Talk a little bit about some of your specials you got coming up. Oh, now we're gonna we get to pimp the store. Yeah, here. we got to pimp everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got yeah. It's it's crush time for us right now. Uh, how do, how do we reach you? Just go to performancemma.com. Okay. What about any types of social media? Yeah, you can you can hit us on Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, you name it. Right. You're gonna be running we're, specials through the social media. There. Yeah, we give out specials on Facebook. We give specials out on. On Twitter, we're running right now. Um, discounts, we've got a 20% off shorts coming up this coming week, if not uh, Monday, across the board. We've got exclusives that we've set up with companies like Bad Boy and Rev Gear, where we're doing starter packs for people starting up in the sport. So um, we're in the only place to find stuff like that. Uh, yeah, always, always something new, always specials, always new, new products and uh, things to see there. Beautiful, beautiful. I appreciate that. And uh, guys, where do we reach you guys? How do uh, how do the Colorado faithful find you guys? Uh, hear about you guys? What do we, how do we get you? <laughs> um, what is our uh, Factory X uh, at Factory X <laughs> Muay Thai? It's uh, FactoryXMuayThai.com. <laughs> okay. How about uh, Twitter? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Drop the ball there. So He's an guys. amateur, man. He's an amateur. <laughs> That's the problem. Bro. How about um, uh, Facebook and Twitter? So again, it's factoryxmoytai.com, and then Twitter is factoryxmt. So, and then Facebook is factoryxmoytai, and then Mr. Ian can tell you the CrossFit and Front Range BJJ. Please do. Uh, CrossFitLittleton.net and FrontRangeBJJ.com, and then we're on Facebook uh, and Twitter as well. Beautiful, Chris. Um, I got my own website up, uh, KamosiMMA.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at Chris Kamosi. And I know you're very active on Twitter. I am. I'm always on there, um, pushing sales for the store on my website, um, sponsors, what I have coming up, training camps, pictures, videos, everything. So. So it's not just about fighting, is it? Yeah, not at all. <laughs> Rob, tell us a little bit more. Before. Uh, you can find my work on uh, MMADiehards.com, uh, writing about the sport, uh, gems, any coverage I can get, especially for the Colorado guys. You can find me on Twitter at Rob MMA Diehards, and I don't have Facebook, but uh, if you, on, you will, hey, hey, on, you man. will. I'm sorry, <laughs> come on, man. Uh. Josh, the easiest way to find me is the MMAcorner.com. That's my main website. That's okay. my, you know, pride and joy right there. Twitter is at the MMA Corner. Facebook is the MMA Corner. Can't stress it enough. Also, please check out MMA Unleashed magazine, MMA Sports magazine. Great, great magazines. And then if you're in the gym, odds are I'm probably there at some point. Beautiful. I, I really appreciate all you guys taking the time, obviously, to sit the way we have. And Thank it's you. been a lot of fun. I think it's going to be a very eye-opening uh, discussion for a lot of the readers that we have in Colorado. As you guys know, Colorado is a sick, sick MMA state. 
So uh, I'm sure that we'll all get some eyeballs. And uh, what do you got there, Josh? Drink good for you. There you go. And I think Chris has one of those as well. Then Guys, have, uh, have, the, have the people that are looking at this come by and give the gym a try. Absolutely. Free yep. in any of our disciplines, uh, minus CrossFit, but they can do a CrossFit intro at the end. So that sounds we great. free in any of our disciplines. That sounds that great. That's definitely a deal that you guys should not pass up as fans. And, uh, guys, once again, I definitely appreciate you guys taking the time. And uh, we'll be doing it soon again. And uh, thanks again, guys. Thanks. You bet.